Okay, good day everyone, Rising by Gaming here. Welcome to Monster Hunter Rise. More demo videos for you. We've got uh, Lance today and we're gonna see how it works in Monster Hunter Rise. A little bit of a spoiler, it's pretty fun. And I like it. I think I like it. Um, I'm actually surprised to see Great Azuchi there. I'm tracking a Raytheon, so I'm gonna be fighting it in an area we don't usually encounter it. At least at the beginning of the match. Thank you, Doki. Lance. It um, seems to have maintained a lot of its moveset from Welch. But of course, we've got these new tasty Silkbind attacks to talk about. Which sees some interesting new stuff and sort of. Homages back to Hunter Art from Monster Hunter Generations United. I mean, United. Ultimate. Mixing up my game titles here today. I think I'll forgive myself. Alrighty. So, what you saw, we've got Anchor Rage. It works a lot like, I think it was called Guard Rage from Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. And, um,. What I'm finding similar with it so far is that there's three different um, colours of, I guess, charge you get on your lance upon taking the attacks. And just like in Monster Hunter GU, the harder the attack that you take, um, the different colour and the different power you get from it. As far as I know so far, the energy on the lance just gives you increased attack power. I don't know if it affords the hunter any other additional properties. I don't think that was the case in GU. And I'm also not sure if it uh, stacks. Very nice. Pretty sure it doesn't stack. Okay. And the other thing I want to show you guys, it's a 2 wire bug attack called um let's just try and f oh no okay i'll whiff that it's called twin vine and what's really cool about that is i like how it's called twin vine and it takes um two wire bugs to use so if you ever forget how many wire bugs you need for that attack or that silk vine just think of his name what it will do once we get our two bugs back is it'll allow us to stick a kunai into the monster. And upon doing that, um, we'll be able to attach a silk bind to it and close distance on it as many times as we want over a certain period of time. And I'll just um, I'll slide down our Raytheon, I think we'll put her in a pitfall trap, that's probably the best idea. Not a pitfall, a shock trap. Because um, unfortunately sticking that kunai it comes with a very, very uh, tough hitbox, I guess you would say. So we'll do it now. Yeah, you have to be very close and otherwise it's going to be very easy to whiff that. Alright. We're going to get in a lot of trouble using it against her too, I feel. That being a prime example of why. But when you uh, use this Twin Vine to hop in on the monster, you can attack immediately, or you can wait for the hunter to sort of get up to the monster. It does an automatic jump off it, and you can follow up with an attack. So we'll let it jump off the monster itself automatically. And as you can see, it being a silk bind attack, we're going to do blue damage, accruing that um, gauge. Alright, other things with Lance, which are a little bit different, I think, is you can charge this um, swipe. Pretty sure that's brand new. And it's 
quite good because you can do really decent damage with it. You can obviously swipe other annoying pests which might accompany the monster, especially in the case of Great Azuchi and its Azuchi friends. It has good attack power in its own right, and you can string together a swipe, poke, swipe, three hit combo for Lance. It's very good damage. And I think that pretty much has most of the new stuff covered. Oops. Nothing's changed in terms of our regular counter and hard counter, to my knowledge. Definitely looks to function the same. Oh yeah, that's something I should talk about. So it's not just uh, silkbind attacks which you could fo focus on. There's um, other movement tech, I guess you could call it, coming out of Silkbind movement, which I could address for this weapon. I should be doing my anchor rage a bit more. I keep forgetting and I keep playing it like world here. So we might try it now, actually. We'll experiment. So if I just do a regular movement... Yeah. So as you can see, um, even in an un even in a sheath state, when you're moving, using bug wire movement, you you can move straight into the jousting run, which is really really nice. Additionally, I'm pretty sure I've done that out of the uh, recovery wire bug movement. We might um, try and do that if we get knocked down. I didn't press uh, all the buttons I should have. That was my opportunity. Probably a good time to do these ones. Very satisfying getting all those hits. I oh, you can combo into a uh, uh, shield advance. So just how you uh, string together combos with it. Just realizing I didn't have a bug for that. Anchor Rage. Lucky I realized in time. Now, when it comes to the counter hit out of that, I think you've just got the uh, thrust and that's all you can do. I think. And in terms of deciding on your direction for that counter thrust, you've got to decide really early and input your direction really early. That window for choosing your counter thrusting direction is very small. Certainly if you've come certainly if you've come off using the uh, counter move from Gunlands, which has a very nice window, a generous window. This one, not so much. Oh, I didn't even think you lined me up. And that, for a monster like Raytheon, is going to take me a while to get used to. Oh, I wanted to charge that tail. Took my opportunity to get that. That's good. Jump off some fireballs or over survivals. Not quite, but you get the idea. If you try doing this leap in with Twin Vine when you're too close to the monster, I think the hunter sometimes isn't even able to get the leg up off it. And it's very awkward to try and get a hit. Which I guess is fine because. It's used to close distance. Oh, that was cool. You could actually physically see the um, 
the bug wire turn red like maybe it was getting snapped. Oh, they took each other out instead of Raytheon. I was trying to see what sort of range I could get off that. Off those Bombadges. Oh, I couldn't shield advance through that because I think I didn't have the uh, stamina. I wasn't expecting to get through it, but I was expecting to finish in a block at least. But yeah, need stamina for that move. Okay, yeah, there you go. I wanted to show this off. So we did get the successful joust out. Some of you will be familiar with that ability to turn around mid jousting run. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to catch. Yeah, I wonder if I should uh, turn towards camera to reposition that attack. There we go. Nice bit of towel for the blacksmith. Interestingly, she can continue to. There we go, we did a 180 attempt on the follow up there. I do realise we're in yellow sharpness and have been for a while. We will try and remedy that. And yeah, now. Now. I think I lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, she can poison, as you can see, she can poison even with her tail chopped off there, so... I guess biologically speaking, she's still got some of the poisonous spines on her. Oh, we're going up against a tired wraith here. This is nice. I think this doesn't kill. Well, actually, I don't care if it does. We got plenty to get on with. We're going to do, if we want to do a visit today in the same hunt. Um, what's happening? Okay, is this gonna work? Cool. I bet you uh, fly off to the nest to just as I've poked that into you. Yep, that's going to be the case. Ooh. Oops, not the move. Probably do these swipes. Swipe, charge, hop in. Uh, it does feel a little bit awkward trying to do this when you're really close to someone, so I wouldn't really recommend doing the twin vine hop when you're really close like that. Interestingly, she's going down there. That's annoying. It's hoping to go straight to the nest to finish you. Well, gives an opportunity to get some supplies. Oh, this could be fun. This could potentially be fun. Nice. Nice. Please make it so that I ride Mizutsune and kill. No, I want to go the other way around. I wonder if I can... No, I doubt I can let Mizutsune finish off right here. That would be funny. That's right, you can um, wire bug evade even when you're down as a monster, which is nice. The fireballs are whiffing here. An RFG stadium. No, it's the shrine stadium, isn't it? Oh, we just got in before we run out of our meter.
get that damage while it's there, anyway. Let's <laughs> try and jump out of the way of that Mizu. And Wraith in this lane, okay, perfect. This is very convenient, actually. If I could get this target camera on, there we go. Alright, let's see how we go with Lance against Mizu today, oh boy. This is not going to be fun. Actually, yeah, it's one more side. Should be fun. Nice. What will I do? I'll attempt getting swipe damage. 78, yeah, I'll take that. This is risky. That's why. Oh no. I've got to get out of the habit of feeling immediate sort of spirit of revenge after getting hit. Which makes my mind go, right, we're going to thrust ourselves right back at the monster. Especially against Mizutsune, who I know will do two beam attacks in a row. Well, good news is we don't have to go too much, go too far to get back into it. Lovely. This is probably a mistake too. Turn around. Was that worth the 14 damage? I don't know. Okay, not the move I thought. My super slippery. I need to do something about this. It's pretty that guarding um, very hard attacks doesn't seem to shake the bubbles off uh, for the bubble blight. It should. You'd think the hunter's taking just as much of a... Sh like shaking just as much from it. Can I quickly get dug? Alright. Good, we needed that little breather, to be honest. Okie dokie. Yeah, land's good fun. It's a good solid weapon. I wish I could use it better, but that's what um, the full game will be for. Bit of practice on it. I really gotta get in the habit of doing Anchor Rages a lot more though. There I go again, getting right back in the monster's face, although we had a lot of health, so... <laughs> oh, we got the orange now. While we've got this orange, let's get... Let's trap down immediately. So what sort of damage we can do? Seems like it's the smart thing to do. Let's go. Oh, I've lost it immediately. I mean, well, not immediately, but fast. That's sad. We need to entice you to. Oops. We shouldn't have enticed anything. We're getting wrecked. Alright, Mizutsune friend. used to play in world man I've got this lovely anchor rage I should be using just as I thought oh that's a crunchy 78 I love it oh man I think I found my combo 
charge swipe, upward poke, charge swipe. Stamina is a problem right now. Oh, just got that. Anchor Rage, bro. Anchor Rage. Anchor Rage. Rage? Rage. I'm saying the name of the uh, town, aren't I? Anchorage. North America or Alaska? I mean, same continent, right? Never been known for my geography skills. Ooh. Thank you. It's just such a lovely feeling slap. Monster reacts to it really nicely. We'll save our bunk. Yep, good. Please. Yes. Oh, dude. I don't know if that was me sticking it that did the knockdown. I think I like the idea of using this against Mizutsu today. <laughs> uh, Bridge is hilarious trying to chase after it. Yeah. Ah, it's always my luck. Just as I stick it, it leaves. Oh, that's a nice little icon on the map I'm noticing there for me having placed the healing snail guy. I wonder if we'll get the same for the antidobra. We'll give it a run. Oh, I thought I was sharpening. Okay, we're good. Almost. We're almost good. Need this one too. Yeah, nothing on the map, because I guess it doesn't last for very long. Just sits there giving miss for maybe 10 seconds. Always risky business charging a Mizutsune from a long distance. Oops. But the damage, that was worth it. Very nice. <laughs> oh, that wasn't a knockdown. Jeez. That was a tasty 104. Was that a sidestep block? That's reminding me, maybe I've got um, shield advance on the sidestep because I think that was something that was in world. Definitely not something I incorporate in my play. For no good reason, apart from it's tough. It's tough for me to brain. I might try and do it if you change area again. Yes. 
good thing we did that answer though, bro. Very satisfying. Are we gonna get a knockdown soon? Gotta get a heal in soon. Shoot! satisfaction can I slam uh, yeah I can link that into a combo come on that's probably hitting these buttons uh, yeah we'll use it mm, it's starting to get the hang of it though. yeah I'm a big fan of this uh, slap Oh, come on, I was pressing the buttons, dude. No, 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 not those buttons. Dog. Pick me up. It was really fun watching the dog run towards me. Run towards the screen, too. A beautiful sight. Okay. I'm gonna push you guys for the tower. Oh. So, yeah, I don't know how I feel about the uh, twin vines so much. It's gonna be very situational, I think. For some monsters, it might be really nice. For Mizutsune, yeah. He's got, he has got lots of attacks that um, hit high, they've got a big Y axis. I guess you could say. And jumping into its bubbles and its attacks, which hit pretty relatively high to its body, I feel. Um, can be very, very dangerous um, uh, things to do. However, you do get a block on the jump in, which is good. Probably makes it viable. Love to hear what Lance Mains feel about this weapon if they've played the demo. Slap time. There you are. Trying to get in. Nice suit. Slap. Sweet. Enough to. Is this the second ride? I don't think it is. I think it's the first. I have a feeling that you can never kill a monster this way. <laughs> yeah. I bet we got it down to one health. It probably caps. And the killing blow must be after. But I'm not sure. You never know. It just smells, it smells that way. It smells like that's the case. But anyway, that's going to do for the video. Thank you so much for watching me get through a Raytheon and a Mizutsune with the new Lance. I like it. I do like it a lot, especially this one. Boom, boom, boom. This thing, Twin Vine, yeah. I could see myself equipping it versus certain monsters and unequipping it versus others, assuming that you can equip and unequip these things. Um, because we're all thinking that it's looking that way. Because some of these silk binds don't appear in the demo, just like the, for example, the Gunlance one, the uh, Blast Ash or whatever it's called. But yeah, looking forward to finding out what the third or fourth or fifth. Uh, silk bone is for lens. Um but yeah very fun very solid would highly recommend it till next video guys we'll see you next time bye bye